Hello, uh, this is Vajahad Nazir and today I am recording uh, uh, first part for chi-square distribution and uh, we will explain you that what is chi-square uh, and how uh, this question will be solved. But we will not go directly into the question solving. We will first try to explain that what is chi-square, what are the types of chi-square, what are the formulas and then on the second part we will start explaining or solving the questions because uh, it's easy to solve the question but when it comes to understanding if you uh, will not understand the concept of chi-square believe me uh, because uh, when I have uh, watched some videos in which uh, uh, people are uh, looking at a question of five minutes or four minutes and after that they are uh, writing wonderful comments uh, that we have understood the topic but believe me you cannot solve the question on the basis of that five minute video in the examination so for that you have to understand each and every concept of chi-square so come directly uh, to chi-square so first of all chi-square test so chi-square test is mainly divided into three types we have three types of chi-square test one is known as goodness of fit test the second one is known as test for independence test for independence and the third chi-square test is known as test for homogeneity test for homo Genity. Okay, so uh, these are the three different types of chi-square test. Chi is a Greek letter. Chi is a Greek letter. This is a Greek letter. So chi, we call it C H I. Chi, chi is a Greek letter. I'm not good at that too much. Yeah, it will be like this. Chi square. Square. Uh, we are putting the square uh, because of the variance which we use. Because chi-square is mainly related to the variance, the standard deviation of a population. So now we have the three types of test. One is goodness of fit test. Second is test for independence. And the third test is related to the test for homogeneity. The goodness of fit test is also known as the univariate or one dimensional test. Test for independence is also known as the uh, multi-dimensional or bivariate test test for homogeneity definitely now we will explain each and every uh, test in a little detail I will not take much time what is goodness of fit test so what is goodness of fit test okay so goodness of fit test uh, write down the definition it is the distribution. It is the distribution. As I have told you that this is a univariate. Univariate test. Why this is a univariate test? Because we will take only uh, one variable of a single population into account. And then we will perform the test of goodness of a test. It is the distribution of categorical categorical variable in a single population in a single population and what this test is all about what we do we have some uh, observed values in the question we have some observed values then we will calculate the expected values from the questions and then we will perform the goodness of fit test mainly just remember the main point that this is a single population and categorical variable test uh, will be performed this is also known as one dimensional test this is also known as the one dimensional test second one second one is the test for independence the second one is the test for independence this test is also known as the contingency table 
A contingency table is related to the test for independence. And once we will start uh, solving the questions for uh, test of independence in chi-square, then you will understand that what is a contingency table. Okay. Uh, for now, I just want to write down in this again, in this again, we have two variables. Now we have two variables and a single population. One single population, but we will consult two variables in test for independence to determine that there is an association between the two variables or not test for independence will be performed and as far as the test of homogeneity is concerned i just want to write uh, down the lines for test of homogeneity over here yeah yeah in this the test of homogeneity we have multiple we have multiple populations and single variable so we will discuss single variable in multiple population that will be the test of homogeneity so we have three types of test in chi square test now whatever will be the test now the main point the main point is that whatever will be the test but there is just one formula whatever will be the test but we have whatever will be the observations you have one formula and this is the nice this is the good part for chi squared distribution so whatever will be the test you have one single formula for chi square test statistic what is the formula chi square will be written like this is equals to this is the sign for summation summation observed minus expected square divided by expected so observed value minus expected value divided by the expected value and this is the sign of summation now we can write it like a formula which you will find in most of the books that will be like summation o for observed e for expected divided by e again for expected and you will put i square over here so that is the formula for chi square distribution in all the three types of test whatever values are given you have to perform the same formula and this is the uh, good part for chi square distribution but again here i just want to mention one important point what if the observations are not given and directly as i have told you before that the chi square test is mainly related the chi square test is mainly related to the variance or the standard deviation of a sample or a population the chi square test is mainly dis um, uh, mainly related to the variance or standard deviation of a uh, population or a sample so now what if they will give you the variance and they ask you to calculate the chi square test statistics what if they give you the standard deviation and they ask you to calculate the chi square test statistic because this formula will be used when you have lot of observations lot of observation means you have three four five six seven observations and then you are going to perform a formula so this will be the formula but when for example for example when directly in the question they give you they give you calculate the chi square test statistic for a sample 20 if the sample variance is 5 and the population variance is 8. Now, what you will do? Second, they have mentioned the variance over here. And now in the second uh, example, uh, they are mentioning the <coughs> it's an deviation. Calculate the chi-square test statistic for a sample of 30. If the sample is standard deviation is 9 and the population is standard deviation is 11. So, what you will do in such cases? In such cases, you have to 
find out this formula. Calculation of the test statistic chi square when standard deviation or variance is given, you will use this formula. This is the sign for chi square is equals to <coughs> n minus 1 s square divided by sigma square, where n is the sample size, s square is the sample variance, and sigma square is the population variance. This formula will be used to solve such type of question. So now we will solve this type of question. <coughs> First of all, example one. I'm writing example number one and I'm writing the data. Okay, in data we have only three things n, sigma square, and s square. So n is 20. Sample variance is 5, population variance is 8. Now we are going to use the formula for test statistics chi square is equal to n minus 1 s square divided by sigma square. So n will be 20 minus 1 s square will be 5 divided by 8. So 20 minus 1 will give you 19 multiplied by 5 over 8. So the Answer will be 19 multiplied by 5 divided by 8. Sorry, 19 multiplied by 5 divided by 8 will give you 11.875. This is the value for chi square test statistic. 11.875 is the value for chi square test statistics when variance is given in example number 1. Now we are going to solve example number 2 where standard deviation is given instead of variance in example number 2 they are mentioning calculate the chi square test statistic for a sample of 30 if the sample standard deviation is 9 and the population standard deviation is 11 so again again we will make again we will make uh, a data example number 2 n will be uh, 30, n is 30, sample standard deviation is 9, so s is 9 and the population standard deviation is 11. Now we are going to use the same formula again, chi square test statistics will be n minus 1, s square divided by sigma square. In this situation, we have to put the variance, but we have a value of standard deviation, so it's not uh, difficult. 30 minus 1 s square, so 9 square, divided by 11 square. So 30 minus 1 will give you 29, multiplied by 81, divided by 121. So 29 multiplied by 81 will give you double 268, divided by 1 to 1, will be 18.7438. 18.743 will be the chi square test statistic value. That's how the uh, test statistics value of chi square will be calculated when variance or standard deviation is directly given. Otherwise, otherwise, in all the other situations, whenever the observations are given, either it will be a goodness of fit test. Either it will be a test for independence or the test for homogeneity. In all the three types of tests, you will use this formula to calculate chi-square test statistics. That's all from my side for part one. This is all from my side for part one. In the second part, I will record the uh, critical value, that how critical value will be calculated. And then in the third, we will solve the goodness of fit test. And in the fourth part, we will uh, solve independence, test for independence for chi-square. And that's how the uh, lecture will be completed. But I'm sure that I will not take more than 60 minutes to explain each and every concept of chi-square. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.